Hi YouTube, it's the blessed one here. I just wanted to stop by really quick and tell you guys that I couldn't find um, any videos that did a comparison with the Gucci and versus the um, it's a Chanel espadrilles. So I decided I would do one because I was torn between the two and I thought it might help someone that wanted to make that decision. So this video will talk about in detail the difference between the Chanel and the Gucci espadrille loafers or whatever you call them. Hope you guys enjoy. See you soon. Bye. Okay, lovely people. So this is the box, well, the bag that they put the shoes in, which I thought was lovely. And I'm going to undo the string. And this, ooh, girl. <laughs> this is the um, box, same thing. Very nice, guys. I hope you guys can see, because I have, let me move over here in the light, because I can't really see anything. Um my dog's toy okay it's a mess after christmas everything is just a mess okay so now this is the box let's see la, 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 la. oh and then it shows here it shows the price it says leather upper and rubber sole gucci signature leather calf and whatever that says at the bottom Okay. Ooh. La la la. Charlie is nothing to eat. It's no no candies. Okay. So it comes wrapped in plastic. Each shoe, isn't that cute? Okay, let me take it out because I'm doing this one-hander. Okay, wow, see that? Let me see if I can get a close-up on the G's. I love it, look at that. And then you have, the tip has, it looks like the tip is reinforced. And I'm gonna show you how on the, um, the Chanel's, they don't have that reinforced lip, you know. So that's the front. This is the side. Can you see? Right? This is the other side. And then it has the little tag that says Gucci on it. Let's see the bottom. Let's see that. Can you see? Let me get up on it. Yeah, let me see something. Oh, yeah, I can see this dirty room. I have to clean up. But see, now you see how thin the sole is. See that? Okay. It has a little, slight little heel. But, okay. So now let's take the paper out. Let's see if I can do that with one handed. Oh, come on, we can do it. Yay! Okay. Yeah, it's empty. Okay, so we said these were 39 and a half, right? So this is how the inside looks. So you have like the um, Gucci logo inside. Oh my goodness, I, let me see guys, because the lighting is bad here. Okay, there you go. So that's how it looks inside the shoe. Okay, let me get over here in the light a little bit better for you guys. Okay. So that's really it for that one. You know, it's the same thing, just a different, you know, this is the left and then do the right. So that's how they look. I think just so sexy. Rawr. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back. You know what, let me just put the other one next to it. Hold up. I know this is like a ghetto unboxing guys, but I am about to go to bed. Okay, so here we go. So that's them side by side. Let's turn them. Let me go down so I can see how they look like that. There you go. Isn't that cute? I love them. All right, so now I'm going to go and open up the um, Chanel. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back with the Chanel Espadrilles. 
So let's look at the front of the front of the box. It says these are the all black ones, seven hundred and twenty-five bucks, size thirty-nine. So now let me just say one thing though. I noticed because I told you guys I went to Neiman Marcus, I didn't go to the Chanel store. So I I saw um, an unboxing that another woman did. And when she opened up her box, her shoes were wrapped in plastic like the Gucci ones were. But let me tell you, obviously someone else tried these on. And when I opened the box, look, let me show you. Ooh. No plastic. Excuse me, everybody. So look it. There was no plastic on them, right? There's no plastic like the Gucci. So apparently somebody else tried them on and they just didn't feel like putting the plastic back on. And I just really didn't like that. I felt like I didn't feel like special anymore because whatever. So <laughs> I didn't like that. So, you know, next time I would probably go to Chanel because I didn't like the um the presentation of how they did this shoe. Okay, so let's go through this shoe. Sorry, guys. Okay, so here we go. Let me put the box to the side. So this is... It's a soft leather. Soft calf skin. Um, inside the shoe, it's beige. And it says... Oh, my goodness. Sorry, guys. It says Chanel. And they're... Wow, this lighting is so bad. Let me see. Okay, there you go. You guys are going to see this dirty room. Can you see? It says Chanel inside the shoe. Let me back up. Okay. Now, let me just say something, right? With this shoe, right? Inside this shoe, it's a leather Chanel... Um, I don't know, a leather strip, right? Now, a lot of people don't wear socks with these shoes. And I'm just saying, you know, if I were going to not wear socks, I know this this right here would make me my feet sweat. And then next thing you know, after so long, funk comes. And if you see here with the Gucci one, Gucci did a good job because even though you have this leather piece here at the back where the heel is, they didn't put it going all the way in because, you know, it's, you know, the material is right there, whatever you call this material. So I could see myself, my feet breathing better in these than in the Chanel's because there's no, there's no leather, this strip is, it's just, you know, material. Whereas with the, the uh, Chanel shoe, it's the leather, you know, strip going all the way down to the bottom of the shoe. You see that? So here's the shoe. Sorry I took so long to show you guys. I apologize. I just noticed that. Um, let me move this out the way. My earrings. Okay. Um, so that's the shoe. And I noticed that this is more of a bowed tip. You can see that, you know, it's like kind of bowed out. And some people, you know, they like that. And this is the front. And as you can see, it's not reinforced. Let me see. See, with the uh, Gucci, it's reinforced. See that? You know, some people, when they walk, they scuff, they drag their feet. You know, you scuff your feet when you, you know how you do it. Sometimes you make a mistake. And I feel like with this reinforced uh, lip, I have a chance of, you know, protecting my, my leather will be more protected because of this reinforcement here. Whereas with the Chanel's, they're not. Okay. And then this is the side. Now let's do a comparison of the side of them. If it'll stay. Just like I told you guys, I'm doing this one handed. Hold up. Uh -huh. Well, before I do that, let me just finish. So the bottom has a little um, heel as well. See? See that little heel? Okay. 
let's turn over to the bottom so it has Chanel on the bottom it says Chanel and then it has the um, little CC's on the heel so you see that and this is the back okay just the other side so again you see the bow right okay so now I'm gonna put them together so now here we go I know I said so now ten times I said so now ten times so now um let's see which one is softer which leather so they're both calfskin this is hard. This is a stiffer leather. The, the man at the Gucci store told me that they made a, a more reinforced leather so that they could last longer, they said. So I do like that. And surprisingly, even though this leather on the Chanel shoe is softer, it is harder to put on your foot. And this right here hurts when I put it on, you know, the top of my foot. It hurts the top of my foot. This one doesn't surprisingly I don't know you know so see that let's turn them around to the back let's see let me get down can you tell which one of course you can because one of them has GG on the back so this GG going all the way around the shoe so they really look identical almost like you know in the back but look guys let's see so the lip on the Chanel I mean not the lip the um rubber part seems to be a little bit thicker to me than the Gucci let's see okay let's see that I don't know guys what you think let's do it like that they look like they the same I don't know Let's see which one is, is better reinforced at the bottom. Can we see that? Wait, let me see. Okay. See, like if it'll bust off, you know, while you're walking on the train. Let's see this one. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely a softer leather. Look at that. Now, if you're the kind of person that abuses your shoe, to me, this would not hold up very well. Look at that. See that? And this one is like stronger, you know? So it's, so 450, 725. So let me turn them around again. So I guess it, it basically boils down to what look you want. And that's where I come in next because I'm going to put them on and show you the look of both shoes. I'm going to do Gucci first and then Chanel next. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Hi, guys, I'm back. I have on the Gucci Espadrilles. Okay, so I wanted to show you how these would look with some skinny jeans on. If you're walking down the avenue on 43rd Street, is that the Hooker Street? Okay, so here, oh. here is this side view, okay, and then this is the other side. I hope you don't see my ashy foot, but that's too bad. And if you wanted to do a little bit of ballet, now you can see the bottom. Here we are. Now, if you wanted to go like this. This is how it would stretch if you were reaching for something off of the refrigerator. And we're reaching from off the refrigerator. Now, when I do that, guys, look it. I don't, this doesn't hurt here. It's, it's pretty stretchy. This is a 39 and a half, okay? Reinforced lip, okay? And this is how we're going to look with skinny jeans on, okay? Can you see that? All right, guys? You hear me? Okie dokie. So now, this is the Gucci Espadrilles. Did you see the back? Can you see the, the uh, slight heel? Very slight heel. And again, I'm going to reach onto the refrigerator. Do you hear the crackling of the leather, ladies? 
and gentlemen, the cracking of the, le the, the leather, the calfskin leather as I reach for the candle to put onto the dresser. Okay? All right, guys. Next, we'll be doing the Gucci's. Mm -mm. I mean, ooh, <laughs> the Chanel's. I'm back, guys. <laughs> okay, so these are the Chanel's. Now, right off the bat, what do you see? You know what you see? You see my feet looking like varicose veins. You know why you do? Because these are squeezing the shit out of the top of my foot. Look at that. Just look at it, y'all. And the veins is popping out because they're so tight. Now, let me tell you something. I know these are going to stretch. I know they're going to stretch. But look, let me see if you can zoom in. Oh. Can you see that? Now, I know in time they will stretch. I, I understand that, ladies. But before they do, I don't want to go through. Look at my veins poking out. I mean, come on. You know, but anyway, I'm still going to reach on the refrigerator. Okay, you ready? Oh, let me walk a little bit. I'm walking down the avenue. Okay, and this is the side view. This is the ballet view. Okay. Can you see? Yeah. And you see how you can see my toe in the front? These are my, this is the size for my foot, but you can see my toe. Look at me. The leather's so <laughs> soft, you can see me put, poke my toe up. So if you have corns or something like that, I think, look at it. I'm pretending like I got one on the side. Look at that. You can see it. You feel me? And my feet are already sweating because, like I told you, it has the leather strip going all the way through the whole shoe. Okay? But they will loosen up. They, they're going to loosen up. I know it. Now, the back. So, oh, lyrics is the back. So, these are the, this is the back. Now, I'm going to turn around so I can show you when I'm reaching on the refrigerator. Honey, I can't reach the candle. And one. And two, and three. Now you saw how tight that was. So I know they're gonna loosen up. And I'm not gonna lie, ladies. Yes, they are comfortable. Yes, they are. But I'm just afraid that because of the softness of the leather calf skin, it's going to leave indentation sooner. And my feet are sweating already. Okay? They're sweating. They were not sweating in the Gucci ones. Okay? So, I'm going to stretch and reach for the candle on the other side. Are you ready? And one. And two. And this is the bottom. And this is if you were talking to your boyfriend and he said, <laughs> Stop! Like that. That's that side view. Okay? So, my mom says it looks like my toes are bunched up in the front, but they're not. They look like that because of the softness of the leather. Okay, guys? So, and if you look down at them, they look cute. You know, they're cute. Like, I, I'm like, I really feel sexy with them. But I just think that maybe this tightness is ridiculous and I would never be able to wear socks. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm going to wear socks, God damn it. But if I don't wear socks, I don't like the fact that my feet are going to sweat. Okay? So, there you have it, guys. Let me see if I can do it. Uh, what's her name? The one that does the, the, the clicking of the slippers. What's her name? Dorothy? Yeah, Mom. Okay. No, Alice in Wonderland. Is it Dorothy? Dorothy does Oh, Dorothy. Too. Okay, Dorothy. She says, oh, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, we're going to have to cut that out. Yeah, so, <laughs> all right, guys. Love you all. And I hope, oh. Um, so I think I'm going to keep the Gucci ones. These are nice too, but I don't like that these are $725. I really don't like that. To me, I still look good in the Gucci's and it was $450 and my feet don't sweat as much. Okay? So that's my opinion. That's my damn business. All right. I love you guys. Happy holidays and happy new year. I hope I can get this up before the new year. Okay. Bye-bye.